Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. We are going to make a, I think we're, we're at least gonna make the cover for the scrap journal insert for this album. So this is the, hang on, find the paper. <laughs> this is the Time of Wonders. We're making this Christmas album and I have an entire playlist that starts at the beginning of the introduction to the templates and works its way through and I will link that up there. And we are doing like a two, a two in one kind of hybrid situation where we got the interactive scrapbook in the front here and then in the back here we have two elastics for some scrap journals. So in the last video we made this uh, sleeve, this protective sleeve or this outer cover, fully shaker, outer, outer journal cover. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. And then now we're gonna make the insert go inside. So I've got some stuff prepped and ready. And um, I did wanna kind of remind you, everybody that we are not, like every video, we're not completely, completely embellishing everything. We're not going overboard on every little page because this is such a large album and I wanna make sure that I can sprinkle all the different little things that we've got for this album all the way through the album. Plus we haven't done the covers, we haven't done the inside covers. There's a lot we still have to do, so I like to incorporate, you know, printable papers, the background designs that come on the templates, the uh, shades of color, that kind of thing. I like to incorporate all that kind of stuff in and amongst so that we can stretch the paper collection because I've, I've already used a lot of the paper collection. Let me look and see here. Whoops, that's stickers. I have just a very few, and, and one of these sheets, I don't know why there's two in here, one of these sheets is a cut apart. So I have one, two, three, four full sheets of paper left from the paper collection. So I'm trying to just use one pack, but it looks like we're gonna have to incorporate another one or be real creative <laughs> with what we're doing. So in order to make the inside journal cover, that's what I'm gonna call it. So there's that outer layer that's the shaker. Let's do the inside journal cover. On page 8B is the main base page for this size album. I printed two of them with the ornament background design on them onto 80 pound white cardstock. And one of them I left the left tab on and cut the other three tabs off. And on the other one, I cut all the tabs off. And they are just plain on the back, and I inked them up. I've scored this one and put tape on it and, and chomped the, the corners there. So what I was thinking we would do is concentrate on this outer cover, and we'll decorate this up. That's what I think we're going to do in this video. So... Again, I've already put the tape on here, so this is going to attach onto the back side of here. I even wrote attach here so that I wouldn't get them upside down because um, we don't want to do that. So I'm going to attach this tab that's got the tape on it. I'm going to attach it to this side. Okay. So let me get, actually, let me burnish that really quick. think I could maybe just no I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it like this I'm gonna hold it match it up oh I hope y'all can't hear my stomach growling All right okay so that's good that's good enough So one of the things I am going to do though, is I'm going to take this corner, just this little bitty corner here. On the top and the bottom, I'm just going to knock that out so that it sits in the, in the, um, so that the uh, cording sits on it just a little bit better. I'll show you, I'll bring it a little closer. Where I notched it out, you see that? Just a little bitty notch. Not a big deal. Okay. So. 
so I think I've got it all planned out as best I can anyway. And I was going to, remember we printed off the postcards from the add-on scrap journal. We printed off four to a page from the PDF and we've used some of the postcards and the shaker elements and stuff. Well, I am thinking about using some of these, uh, this size, and then there's this. Okay, so this is from the six by six paper pad and there it is right there just like that so this is a little time consuming but I think it's so so worth it I fussy cut around the outside and then I took a craft knife and I carefully carved out the inside right and then I flipped it over and kind of just burnished it like this so that all the edges would be flat and not kind of jagged looking sometimes when you fussy cut the edges can get kind of weird so right so I did that so I was thinking about using this on the cover like this I think that would just be super super pretty and then having these kind of sticking out what do you guys think I didn't even ink it up because um, well because I didn't want to <laughs> I didn't want to ink it up. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. Oops. I better put these back together. And then I was going to put like a label down here. And so one of the things you'll notice too as well, I didn't put anything on the inside here. And that's because I'm not sure what I want to do there yet. I haven't made a decision. And so I just decided to leave it white for now. So, but I am going to ink these up. These little postcards. I just think they'd be cute like sticking out from under the wreath. And then we're gonna have a little label there that might explain a little bit more what's in the, what's gonna be in the journal. So something like this I thought would be cute. So yeah, I'm gonna ink those up. Also, I already inked all that up. I don't know if I said that already. So, and then the other thing I wanted to do is I want to stamp one of my labels from my stamp set that looks like this. I'll have it linked down below. If you, um, if it's not in stock, you can click that link and it's an affiliate link. So you click that link and you go to May May's website. And then, um, if it's not in stock, you just put in your email to be notified when it is back in stock. But I think you have to have an account in order to be notified that it's back in stock. I'm not really sure, but anyway, so, uh, I'm going to be using this little stamp here, I think. So I'm going to grab a scrap. And I think I'll use some of this coffee stained paper. Yeah. So I'm going to use archival ink and black soot. And, or am I? No, I'm not. I'm going to stamp the sentiment in black. I'm going to use the walnut stain for the front. Well, I guess we could do both. I guess we could try both out and see what what it looks like. I'm going to try to get my head over here without getting in the way. So that looks good. I'm going to have to trim it out just a little bit better and then let's try and see what it looks like um, with black. straight I can't see or on it period oh, I got off a little bit shoot since I can't get my head over top it's hard to see I guess I just didn't ink that part up. I don't know what happened. Oh, dang on it. <laughs> Scooted you. Are we okay? I think we are. I need to put the, the grippies on my tripod. That way it won't move. All right, let's see what this looks like. Maybe if I just cut it real close.
Okay, and then I was going to stamp a sentiment, I think. I was going to put favorite memories on here. I'm going to stamp that in black. I gotta try to get up over top so I can see. Oh, I hear my son sneezing. So there's one option. All the products that I'm using are linked in my Amazon well, as best I can. And then if they're not in Amazon and they're somewhere else, I have them linked down below in the description box as well. Okay. Oh, I mean, they really, they both kind of look good. So. Let's see here. Okay. So, here's what I'm thinking. Those coming out of here. Whoops. Those coming out like this. And then this was my initial option that I was thinking, which that looks cute. And then here's the other one. I kind of feel like, I also wonder, should I stick it on the wreath as well? I'm just looking up in the camera to see what it looks like. It's kind of neat looking. I like the brown better. So, I'm going to set this one aside. Okay. So, I think I am going to attach these right where they are so that they don't move. I'm just going to use our glitter glue for right now. Okay, and then I'm going to go through and I'm going to try to get all of these points. This will probably take a minute. So I want to make sure. I'm just putting little dots. See, if I would have really been thinking, I would have put taper about across the whole back of this before I cut it out. That probably would have been easier. But... Sometimes when I'm planning, I don't, I don't think about things like that.
stick this on here and just tack it down on the four corners. That might be kind of cool. So let's do that. I'll just go ahead and use this glue. There's a little close up. So now I think, should we add some bling to the outer, or to the outer, to the outside here? I think we probably should. Although I'm not sure what yet. Let me get all my stuff. I'm thinking maybe we'll just add some. Of this, of these gold diamond dots, to the poinsettias, to the center of the poinsettias. I think that might be kind of cute. And let me get my picker, and let me get some glue. So I'm just gonna put three dots there. This glue will dry clear, so I'm not, oop, not worry about the bubbles. Maybe we'll just put two on this smaller one. And maybe we should put something on this favorite memories. I'm gonna need something tinier though, I think. So, I'm going to grab these teeny tiny, we'll see, let's see what one looks like. Doesn't look like that. Okay, I am going to put them in here, it's a little bit easier. These are so, so tiny. Nope. Gonna put a little dot there, a little dot there, and I'll have to add one more somewhere. What if I put one just at the end here? Just because. Oh, you know what it needs? It definitely needs some splatter, some gold splatter. Oh shoot, I probably should have done that before. But we'll just go with it. Okay, let me put these up there real quick. I'll just try to be a little more controlled. And I think, oh, no, I thought, where's my water? <laughs> I think we're just gonna do the front cover for now because I don't know what I wanna do on the back yet. So we'll just reserve that for finishing touches or something. All right, so I'm just gonna activate my watercolor here. I guess I could attempt to cover it up with something. Or just try to be careful.
Yeah. All right, I'm gonna dry that really quick. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think it looks good. I don't know if the camera can pick that up or not. It's just a little subtle something, right? So I think what we'll do in the next video, we will start gathering some pages to go inside of this journal and maybe bind it. I wasn't going to bind it, but I think we should. So this is gonna, let me show you what it looks like at the end, at the end of the day, what it's gonna look like. All right, so there it is installed. Right, and then let's cover this. So it kind of looks like that. So we've got this outer protective cover that all the stuff is down here. <laughs> so, so anyway, you kind of get the gist. So then there's the actual inner cover of the journal. This will, this is all removable. So if you didn't like this here, you could put it on the different one, or you could put your Christmas cards in this one and have the journal in the next one or whatever. We might even move stuff around. So, so yeah, this is the beginning of our journal covers. I believe, look, I even got some on the back, but that's okay. Yeah, <laughs> but I think it turned out really cute. I really like, I really like it. So in the next video, we're gonna be filling this up full of like vintage papers and coffee stained paper and stuff like that. This is what I'm thinking. So, all right, be sure to leave me a comment so you get entered into the giveaway. All of that information is down below in the description box. And then make sure you're a subscriber to my channel so you don't um, miss, oops, there is, I got gold flecks on my plant. Look at that. <laughs> make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on that bell notification so you don't miss any of the videos. Yeah, be sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this journal cover. And thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.